All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about how to fix your Java jar files not opening or automatically running when you double click them. Or if you do double click them, they open with an unrelated program, like maybe they open with WinRAR or something else. And the simple answer is for whatever reason, your Microsoft Windows installation is no longer associating jar files with Java. And there's three different ways that I have to share with you today to try to help fix that problem. Uh, one of them is just manually telling Windows this is a file that's used with Java. The second methodology is installing Java 17 or newer to make sure it's on your computer and properly installed so Windows knows what to use it with. And then the third methodology is a program called JarFix, which promises to fix that problem automatically by using code to do the thing that I'm gonna show you how to do first. So if you're having this problem, you might be trying to double click a jar file and it ends up popping open a window that looks like this, where it's like, I don't know what to open this with. Or maybe it's using the wrong program entirely. So the simple answer is you can right click that jar file, click open with, and then go to choose another program in this little pop-out window and select that. And now you should have the option, unless you're unlucky, to find Java TM platform SE binary somewhere in this list of apps, or you can click on more apps and go down this long list of apps and hopefully you see Java. If not, you might have to look around on your computer and find where it's installed and select it that way. And if you click on this, it just like, you just have to start scrolling through your computer to find it, which might be more difficult than it looks or just too confusing. And I wouldn't blame you for deciding not to do it that way. But if you're lucky and it is on this list of apps, you can select it and say, always use this app to open jar files. And now Windows should always use Java to open the jar files again. Now, sometimes, because there's something else causing problems behind the scenes, this doesn't work. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and install Java 17 to fix this problem. So to install Java 17, I just Google Java 17, and then I'm gonna go down to Java Downloads, it's the second result here. I'll put these links in the video description too, so you don't have to like find these on your own. And then here we want JDK 17, there's a little tabs here. And then down here, there's a tab for Windows. It'll also work for Mac and Linux, but you're gonna have to grab the appropriate file there. I can't help you, I don't use Mac or Linux. And then we're gonna go to Windows, and then we're gonna go to X64 installer, and we're gonna click on this, and we're gonna download that. I got a jar fix folder that I already made to store these things in. And then we're gonna go ahead and open this folder once it's done. So once this is done downloading, you can just open up the folder that you downloaded Java 17 in, and then double click this in order to install it. After that, just run through this installation setup wizard. It's a pretty quick process. Make sure Java 17 or newer is installed. You can use newer. And then just go through this and say yes, put it here, yada yada. And then it might ask you to restart. Go ahead and do that, and you should be good to go. Then you can go ahead and check to see if that has fixed your jar files. You should be able to just double click them because a lot of them are just executables. And then it should pop open and whatever program you're trying to run should appear. In this case, it's a, an Iris installer that I downloaded for Minecraft, but yours might be a little bit different. Um, if it's still being a problem after both of those two other things are last ditch resort is we're going to use jar fix. So for jar fix, you want to make sure you click on the search result that says lawfulman.net. You can download it from soft Sonic, but I don't know how safe that is. Always go to the author's website when you can in order to download open source software. So we're going to go click on jar fix. And then here on Johan Lawfulman's website, we're going to go to downloads and then once we click on download it'll take us to the bottom here i'm just going to download it directly from the author's website the jarfix.exe and save it to the same folder 
And then this one's even quicker to use. We just double click it. We agree to the running it as administrator and it says the jar suffix file should now be properly registered to the Java program. That's what this says here. It's already done its thing before we even had to click on anything else. It's just telling you now it should work. You're like, cool, amazing, let's do it. And then once again, if it's working correctly, you should be able to go back to wherever your jar file is and be able to double click it and it should pop open correctly now. So hopefully these methods, one of these three works for you. If not, something else is going on and you're probably gonna have to do a little bit more research as to the things that can be preventing a jar file from registering with Java. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope it did help you. And uh, otherwise throw a comment in the comment section below. I'll try to give you a little bit more help if you still need it. And uh, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody and have a good one.